right. Second example, finding functional values using the Pythagorean identity. So this is the same as example A, but it has different values. All right, so now we have the sine of t equals negative 2, uh, sorry, negative square root of 2 over 7. That's a 7 there. And we know the cosine of t is less than 0. That means it's negative, and we want to find the cosine of t. First thing we do always is start with the Pythagorean identity, which says, there we go, the cosine of t squared plus the sine of t squared equals 1. Always start with this, um, and it you, you're going to want to write every step down to this problem um, when you do these problems in class and on your own. Um, and always start with the Pythagorean identity. Okay, so we don't know the cosine of t, but we do know the sine of t, so we're going to substitute that in. Negative square root of 2 over 7. That whole sine of t is squared. So let's go ahead and square that out. So a negative times a negative is a positive, so the negative has disappeared. Oops. Got the plus right there. There we go. The square root of 2 squared becomes 2, and 7 squared becomes 49. And then at the same time, I'm going to change this 1 into 49, 40 ninths. I'm going to subtract 2 40 ninths from each side. So on the left side, I have cosine of t squared equals 49 40 ninths minus 2 40 ninths. And go ahead and doing that arithmetic on the right-hand side. You end up with 47 over 49. Let's continue this problem up here. Let me rewrite it. Cosine squared of t equals 47 40 ninths. Well, the cosine of t is squared, so to get to the cosine, I have to unsquare it, which means I have to take the square root. If I take the square root of the left side, I must take the square root of the right side. So I'm left on the left-hand side with cosine of t. Whenever you square root, you have plus or minus solutions, and 47 is not a perfect square, so we're just going to show that as the square root of 47. 49 is a perfect square, so when you square root that, you get 7. Now, um, I can ignore the positive one here, because the original problem told me that it was negative, so let's just go ahead and use that. So the cosine of t is negative square root of 47 all over 7. And of course, this is an exact value. I just want to remind you of that again. Exact value. So. There's the end of this session.